so title of uh, lecture is mosfet dc models you know what is a device model just we are um, uh, revising or reviewing our previous knowledge about the device models device models you know it's a mathematical or numerical relationship that relates actual voltage and currents of device at dc or low frequency and uh, we discussed one example of uh, a pn junction device and i told you there are three different kind of models there is dc model there is small signal model and then there is a high frequency model dc model is the most basic model and your small signal model and high frequency model they are derived from dc model or you can say some modifications over dc models give you small signal model and then high frequency model so today we are going to discuss the mosfet dc models you know this is a mosfet device it's a four terminal device it has a drain terminal source terminal and gate terminal and sometimes we show this uh, uh, bulk terminal also this is also called substrate terminal and the voltage which is applied here on this substrate terminal that is indicated as vbb at bulk to bulk voltage now whatever gate voltage that decides how much is current into the uh, output channel channel between drain and source and this is the reason that uh, mosfet is known as current control uh, sorry voltage controlled current source your bjt is a current controlled current source because the current at output side is controlled by current at base terminal base terminal decide how much current is there in the output terminal but here be this gate voltage decides the current in the output channel so that's why it is known as voltage controlled current source and this symbol is of uh, nmos device and if you talk about pmos device uh, there is a, a very small difference in term of symbol here you see if this bulk terminal is indicated this inward arrow means this is nmos device and if this arrow is outward then it is a pmos device i hope that uh, this uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, symbols and their differences between nmos and pmos you already have covered in your uh, previous semester now uh, these are the symbols of the devices if you look at the device from the top side if you see the structure from the top the structure is something like this so drain is here on this side source is here on this side and channel is here now uh, this uh, dimension you see l this is length of channel this is distance between source and drain all this is length of the channel and uh, this gate if you see its masking the dimensions are little bigger but the actual width of this channel is from here to here this is actual width this this portion this is width and it is indicated here so uh, this w and l these two dimensions are frequently used in the equations of uh, current in case of mosfet so it means in the model of mosfet these will appear frequently so it is very important to understand where these parameters are coming from so length is this portion uh, which is distance between drain and source and w is uh, uh, is uh, this width of the channel which is indicated here in this uh, uh, vertical uh, structure of the or top view of the mosfet now you know the characteristics of mosfets are like something like this so here on the x axis you see it is drain source voltage means voltage between drain and source terminal and on y axis there is a current and that current is drain current and you know drain current and source current these are same currents in mosfet device and output characteristics will look like this and these output characteristics are designed for a constant gate source voltage you see here this lowest curve that is for a gate source voltage 1.5 volt uh, so that way uh, for different gate source voltages different uh, curves are shown here so if you are increasing this gate source voltage this 
current is increasing and another important thing which you have to uh, understand here is this portion is known as ohmic region right this is ohmic region and here when the curves are flat this is known as saturation current so uh, you remember in case of bjt this portion is saturation and this portion is linear region but here in case of mosfet this nomenclature is different so this portion when your current is increasing with the drain voltage drain current is increasing with drain voltage that portion is known as ohmic region because ohms law is being followed here if you are increasing drain voltage drain current is increasing but when you go here in this portion uh, you are increasing drain source voltage but drain current is not increasing drain current is flat here right so a a type of saturation have taken place here in the drain current so that's why this portion is named as saturation region in case of mosfet and this particular dotted line it's very important you know the working of mosfet so this portion is linear because drain current when increases current is increasing but once you reach here at this dotted line pinch off occurs pinch off occurs when your drain source voltage is equal to gate source voltage minus vt so this is pinch off voltage and once your drain source voltage is greater than this pinch off voltage you enter into saturation and once that pinch uh, that pinch off have occurred no further increase in the drain current takes place so drain current becomes constant so i hope that uh, you all know these characteristics you know the phenomenon of pinch off so this ohmic region is uh, when your drain source voltage is less than pinch off voltage pinch off voltage is vgs minus vt and when uh, you uh, your drain source voltage is greater than this pinch off voltage you are in the saturation region and this particular dotted line indicates pinch off voltage for all gate source voltage right so this pinch off uh, curve is a demarcation curve which separates your ohmic region and saturation region uh, here i was just explaining you what happens in a mosfet what is there uh, what are different reasons in the characteristic curve so having this uh, enough knowledge now we will move towards the model and one more important thing which i want to tell you that uh, here in the coming slides we are going to develop model for nmos device uh, we will not do anything with pmos because the devices are almost same so whatever equations or whatever model we have with nmos that same model will will be modified little bit uh, to be applicable for pmos you will see only difference will be uh, the sign change at some places so if it is positive at some places it will become negative if it is negative it will become positive not at every location only at some places there will be only change in sign if we move from nmos to pmos uh, so you know uh, dc model means some mathematical expressions which tells you about uh, current and voltages so now let's see so first we are going to uh, discuss a model which is developed by shah uh, shah is the surname of the scientist who was working on this model so uh, this is symbol of nmos device and the basic model is listed here so this derivation also you have seen in your earlier papers in earlier semesters so from there you know that uh, drain current in mosfet is given by this equation so uh, there are two equation one equation is for this condition when your gate source voltage is greater than threshold voltage when your gate voltage is greater than this threshold voltage at that time current in this channel or you can say this drain source current or drain current or source current whatever you name is it is same that is given by this equation so this k prime that is a constant parameter w by l is again a parameter uh, 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 it's a two parameter but normally it appears as a ratio so sometimes we uh, consider it as a single parameter because w by l ratio um, that will decide how much is the current w alone or l alone is not going to do anything so it is w by l ratio which is important here so this w by l ratio that is your design parameter 
I told you in the last class also two kind of parameters are there. So this W by L is design parameter uh, because it is related with dimensions and it is in the control of circuit designer. This K prime is your process parameter. So you will see in the coming slides or in the coming lectures. So uh, most of the parameters which decides this K prime, they are related to process or they are related to materials, right? So it is a process parameter and W by L is your design parameter. Your VT is also your process parameter. And other parameter like gate source voltage, drain source voltage, these are the parameters which are in your control. So once the design, once the device is ready, now you have to work with gate source voltage and drain source voltage and uh, drain current. So these parameters are external parameters which are in your control. So this equation will give you current in the drain uh, terminal when your gate source voltage is greater than Vt. And if your gate source voltage is less than Vt, at that time drain current is zero because no channel formation has taken place. So this is the most basic or most simple model of MOSFET device. Now in the coming discussion you will see that uh, there are limitations in this model. You cannot uh, work this model if you want accurate results or if you want to do accurate designing uh, then this model is not sufficient. Uh, but this is the most basic and most simple model, right? Now you have to see one more thing here in the model that IG that is zero. Now drain, uh, sorry, gate current, gate current is always zero. Doesn't matter how much is the gate voltage, how much is the drain voltage, how much is the bulk voltage, but the gate voltage that uh, the gate current have to be zero. Because you know when we use MOSFET device, we uh, apply some voltage here. If you see here this part, now uh, this uh, you will see this open portion here. It is because this gate is separated from channel by a oxide layer. So you, you know uh, this is semiconductor here and on the semiconductor we have oxide layer and on the oxide we deposit gate right gate material and then we have a gate here this is gate terminal and this is your semiconductor now if you apply a voltage here on the gate uh, the gate terminal will not have any current because this gate terminal is separated from channel by insulating reason so insulating reason means no current can pass through this portion. So that's why this IG is always zero. It's only the field which is coming from gate that is used to modulate the conduction into the channel. Otherwise current in the gate terminal is always zero. So these equations, these three equations actually, uh, first is that drain current when gate voltage is greater than threshold voltage this equation will decide how much current is there then the second equation is gate current zero in which condition when your gate voltage is less than threshold voltage and third condition is gate volt gate current is zero no current will flow in the gate these three equations normally describe the behavior of your device remember still we are not saying anything about the bulk terminal because in the simplest model uh, we assume that uh, this bulk current is that bulk current or bulk voltage is not going to affect the device of this. Now, if we say that this equation is sufficient enough to describe the behavior of device, it means this equation should satisfy the characteristics of MOSFET. So, if we plot the characteristics, if we plot ID for different values of VGS and different values of VDS, we should get output characteristics. That is the purpose of model. But you see what happens now. If you plot the characteristics, you can write a program in C language or you can do manual calculations and then you plot a manual graph. So what you will get, you will get this kind of behavior. So here you see gate source volt, uh, drain source voltage on X axis, ID on Y axis. And this is your pinch of voltage region. 
so you will see that here in this portion which is uh, uh, ohmic region so this is your ohmic region right this is ohmic region so here in this ohmic region the behavior of these curves is almost similar to the actual characteristics of the device but once you cross this portion this uh, pinch of portion pinch of curve if you cross it you see here uh, the, the 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 current is shown as a dotted line because this portion this characteristic data doesn't match with the actual iv characteristics of the device what do you expect the iv characteristics characteristics here in this region they should be like this right but instead of getting these kind of straight line uh, we are getting this decrease in current when we are increasing the drain source voltage it means if we use this particular equation for id that equation will not give us exact characteristics in the saturation region in ohmic region it's working fine and here it is indicated in term of uh, slope of the curve you see here when the slope of the curve is positive then this uh, this characteristics they matches with the actual characteristics of mosfet when the slope of the curve is negative in that case they doesn't match the actual characteristics of the device and this this curve this curve which is uh, which corresponds to that pinch of voltage at this curve the 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 slope of this uh, portion is zero right so it means the main limitation so this is the portion this is the pinch of voltage so before this pinch of region uh, this equation satisfy this equation gives you exact characteristics but beyond the pinch of region it doesn't give you actual or real characteristics so this is the main limitation of shaw's model it this it works only in the linear region or you can say in the ohmic region where derivatives are positive so once the derivative of the curve is negative uh, it means it is not satisfying the characteristics of the device so uh, this is limitation of shaw's model and uh, this shaw's model is a very basic model so now we will see uh, what to do to get the actual characteristic so you know that uh, in the saturation region whatever uh, current we get here at the pinch of almost same current persist everywhere in the saturation so what we have to do in order to find out the current into the saturation region uh, we just see how much current is there on these points when the device is at pinch off so that current we calculate and exactly same current we use for the uh, the uh, remaining portion of the saturation region it means just we see this pinch of voltage that pinch of voltage is vds is equal to vgs minus vt we use same equation we put the value of vds equal to vgs minus vt here in this equation and we calculate how much is the drain current so if you put here vds instead of vds you put vgs minus vt and same vgs minus vt you put here so vgs minus vt here so vgs minus vt minus vgs minus vt half what you will get here vgs minus vt half and here also there is vgs minus vt so what you will get here vgs minus vt square divided by 2 so that way you will get the current at this portion so you can simplify yourself You, you put here vgs minus vt vg i am writing here vg is minus vt right and the same thing so vg minus vt uh, so you will get vgs minus vt half and here also it's vgs minus vt so the equation of current id will be i am just writing here it will be k prime w by l constants so here you have vgs minus vt divided by 2 
that is the solution of inside part you are putting this vgs minus vt right and it's multiplied by again vds and the vds is again vgs minus vt so that way by putting vds equal to vgs minus vt you are calculating current at this portion where this uh, slope is zero and whatever current you are getting here the same current will be valid for the saturation region so this is current at this point at this point right because you are putting the value of vds from this equation into this equation the same current will go here now if you solve it what you will get k prime w by l a vgs minus vt square divided by 2 so it means it is something like this uh, but if you are writing it like this then you have to uh, remove this portion right so this is the value of current at uh, oh my god yes yeah so this is the value of current at this particular point or you can say at this particular point so that way you get the maximum current in the car and the same maximum current is valid for entire saturation region right so this the result of these calculations will be used in the next model and the next model is Schumann hose model what the Schumann hose model says it says that okay id is zero if your gate source voltage is less than vt right so if gate source voltage is less than vt at that time id definitely will be zero and the other thing vgs minus vgs is greater than vt but we are in ohmic region ohmic region means your gate source voltage is of course it's more than zero but it is less than vgs minus vt so if vds is less than vgs minus vt we are in the ohmic region where the the slope was positive so in that portion this equation is valid but we have seen in the earlier slide if your gate source voltage is greater than this vgs minus vt uh, we are in saturation region and this equation is not valid but in the last slide we have calculated id will be given by this equation so that 2 which was here in the denominator that 2 is shown here uh, with this l it is still in the denominator and this equation is for this particular case when your vds is greater than vgs minus vt so now you see in the shows model we had only one equation that was uh, that we were saying that uh, uh, will be used in both linear region as well as in the saturation region but shimon hose uh, smartly have calculated id for the highest point in the curve uh, where the slope was zero or you can say where the pinch off occurs and that current he have used for the entire saturation region and here you see this id doesn't depend on vds vds term is not there because id remains constant in the saturation region it doesn't change with the vds but in the linear region or in the ohmic region your id depends on vds also so you have seen in the characteristic curve that uh, in linear region id increases right and uh, ig is always zero so we discussed in the previous slide that uh, since there is an insulating region between uh, uh, gate terminal and channel so gate current will always be zero right and the characteristic curves are shown something like here you see in ohmic region this is uh, this corresponds to this equation and uh, it corresponds to this particular condition that uh, your vds is less than 0 and it is uh, sorry greater than 0 and less than vgs minus vt this is the case of vgs minus vt of it so this is the curve this is the curve where uh, vds is equal to vgs minus vt this is pinch off curve vgs minus vt i hope that uh, you all are very much aware about this fact that this curve corresponds to uh, this condition and if we are here in the ohmic region then vds is less than it's less than vgs minus vt you can see here right this this portion corresponds to this portion and when we are here in the saturation region vds is greater than vgs minus vt you can see here vds is greater than vgs minus vt this is the saturation portion 
but remember with yes surely is greater than v right so this this portion this portion corresponds to this equation you can see here uh, id is almost independent of drain source voltage because drain source voltage is not appearing here and the condition for this is listed here your vds is greater than vds minus vt this saturation is it is listed here right now but you know that uh, i hope that you know that uh, ideally the characteristic curve they remain flat in the saturation region right but practically if you see uh, they are not exactly flat there is a weak dependence of drain current on the drain source voltage exactly similar kind of thing were occurring in case of bjt devices also there we were calling it as early effect and uh, uh, there was a parameter early voltage and uh, for finding that, was that early voltage what we were doing we were extending these characteristic curves in the backward direction we were extrapolating them and where all the curves extrapolated curves were meeting that voltage was early voltage here in case of mosfet exactly same thing happens but here we call it a lambda parameter right it is known as channel length modulation because when your drain voltage goes beyond this pinch of voltage then channel length start decreasing and because of that decrease uh, the electric field increases because voltage is same channel length is decreasing so electric field increases and because of that increase electric field increase current increases little bit slightly when drain source voltage is increased that is no that effect is channel length shortening effect and uh, here uh, that is given by this lambda parameter right and in order to incorporate this small dependence of uh, drain current on the drain source voltage a parameter is introduced here in the saturation current equation and that parameter is a multiplication factor that is 1 plus lambda vds it means you see here if that kind of modulation or channel length modulation is not occurring then what we expect the curves should be flat it means lambda is zero you see here if lambda is zero it means channel length modulation is not taking place then entire this parameter is zero and what we get here 1 plus 0 means 1 it means id will be given by this and if id is given by this it means id doesn't depend on vds and in that case we will get these kind of flat curves here right is flat curves if lambda is zero but practically if you draw the characteristics you know that uh, um there is small dependence of drain current on the drain source voltage so lambda is not zero so lambda is a very small value and uh, that small value appears here and that small uh, multiplication factor with vds makes dependence on vds very small right so you can see here that small variation is always there now another thing here is this vt uh, we have uh, told we have discussed many times this vt is your threshold voltage so on one fact on what factors this vt depends i expect that in the previous semester you have studied about vt in detail and that vt uh, was given by these equations so Uh, uh by this equation so there are some parameters here this is vt not so this vt not is your threshold voltage when your bulk source voltage is zero means your bulk or uh, substrate is grounded at that time vt is equal to vt not that is a constant parameter but you see here there are other things also uh, like gamma pi vbs this vbs is the bulk source voltage it means your bulk terminal or substrate terminal have some potential with respect to ground and this kind of situation occurs sometimes you will see in the coming slides in the coming discussion that your substrate or your bulk is not always at the ground right so if that happens in that case your vt is different from vt not 
right and how much dependence is that that depends on the gamma gamma is bulk threshold parameter and this pi is your strong inversion surface potential so how much is the surface potential in case of silicon p type silicon and n type silicon so that is a constant parameter and in the next lecture i will show you that table uh, that table will list all these constant parameters so this is a material parameter this is a material parameter and this also is a material parameter because uh, in the last semester i think you have studied that uh, it depends on the band diagram and work function difference of metal and semiconductor that decides how much is the threshold voltage so anyway uh, threshold voltage uh, if it is given to you then you have to see how much is the uh, potential at the bulk terminal with respect to source because that potential will modify your threshold voltage so vt what is given here that actually is not always a constant parameter it depends on the external voltages and that external voltage is this vbs right uh, i hope that uh, now you understand this mosfet dc model uh, one more thing i want to tell you so uh, some uh, researcher or some scientist they say that if we are multiplying this factor 1 plus lambda into vds here in the saturation region it is always better to use same parameter in case of this equation of ohmic region also so that parameter you can use here also so you can put here this bracket 1 plus lambda vds so why they are saying so because when we are multiplying this factor in the saturation region then the curves are little bit shifted in the upward direction so there is a discontinuity here so you see here there is a discontinuity because this region is multiplied by this this factor and but this portion is not multiplied by this kind of factor right so that's why exactly at this point uh, where this transition is occurring a current is a little less in case of ohmic region but when you enter into saturation region current is slightly higher because of this factor so in order to avoid this kind of non-linearity sometime this 1 plus lambda vds parameter is multiplied uh, here in this ohmic region equation also uh, but many researchers and many scientists they are not using this because they are saying that there is no proper justification for doing this if there are non-linearity leave it as it is we will work we will work with non-linearity instead of adding something which is not uh, justifiable now you see here uh, we have discussed this uh, in detail in case of uh, uh, earlier uh, slides and shows model so whatever current was there at this uh, pinch of point so same current is extended into the saturation region right so you can see this difference and uh, you can correlate with these characteristics with the actual device characteristics so actual device characteristics if you see in case of mosfet most of the time you see these kind of things so the curves are little bit moving upward means there is very small dependence on the drain source voltage and that is there because simon house model considers this lambda effect right now let's summarize the n channel mosfet model so this is the symbol of n mos device we discussed it before and uh, the drain the gate current that is given it is always zero whatever are the polarities of the applied voltages whatever is the polarity of gate voltage whatever are the polarity of drain source voltages doesn't matter your gate current is always zero because your gate terminal is separated from the channel by a insulating layer and insulating materials don't conduct so there is no drain or uh, no gate current in the device so ig is always zero now your drain current can have three values depending on the circumstances if your gate source voltage this gate source voltage this vg is less than vt of course channel has not formed so the drain current will be zero so no current is possible in the drain source channel because channel formation have not occurred gate voltage is less than vt so that portion is known as cutoff portion 
so even if your drain source voltages are g uh, greater than zero or equal to zero whatever you, you are applying some drain source voltage but drain current will be zero because channel formation has not occurred and the reason is gate voltage is less than vt okay now your gate voltage is greater than vt you expect channel formation will take place in this case because uh, uh, gate voltage is higher than vt but now there are two situations you are in ohmic region or in saturation if you are in ohmic region means you are applying some positive drain voltage but this drain voltage is still less than vgs minus vt this is your pinch of fault right in that case you are in ohmic region and in the ohmic region current will be given by this situation if of course your gate voltage is higher than threshold voltage channel formation is taking place but there is one more condition your drain source voltage now is greater than vgs minus vt it means you are in the saturation region of characteristic curve so if that happens you have to use this particular equation for drain current k prime w by 2 l vgs minus vt square and this factor is multiplied 1 plus lambda vds this factor is coming from shiman hoes model and it uh, takes into account that uh, uh, the curves are not exactly flat the curves uh, the the drain current weakly dependent on the drain source voltage and there is small increase in the current when you are increasing the drain voltage and the vt vt is given by this particular equation so that equation we discussed in the last to last slide so that is threshold voltage equation and how much is the threshold voltage of device that depends on these constant parameters and that also depends on your bulk source voltage if you are bulk terminal so that this this is your bulk terminal so your bulk source voltage vbs that is appearing between this bulk terminal and source terminal remember most of the time we show that this bulk is connected to ground so you will if you see uh, the circuit diagrams most of the time this bulk is connected to ground if it is connected to ground your vbs is zero if it is vbs is zero then all this part you will get uh, phi here phi minus phi square phi square root so they will cancel and all this part will be zero so vt will be equal to vt not but if v b this b terminal bulk terminal is not connected to ground and there is some potential at bulk terminal with respect to ground then this vbs is not zero and at that time vt will be different from vt not so anyway this is the summary of uh, dc model of a n mosfet n channel mosfet now let's see what happens in case of p channel mosfet so p channel mosfet exactly you see here symbol you see here this arrow is outward so this is p mos this is your p mos right so here you see the model equations are listed here almost same i is 0 even if it is p mos i g is going to remain same it it is it, it will be zero because that uh, insulating portion is still there and if your vgs is uh, uh, greater than vt because this is p mos the polarity have reversed there right so here if vgs is less than vt here vgs is greater than vt in that case you see here uh, this current id is zero and here you see if vgs is less than vt then Uh, channel formation will take place and you see here the polarities here here have changed if vds is less than vgs minus vt and uh, greater than 0 in that case in ohmic region in ohmic region the id is given by this equation you see here this equation is almost similar to this n channel equation only difference there is a negative sign here because in pmos device current will flow in the opposite direction and the same thing happening in case of saturation region saturation region here you see uh, here there was a plus sign and here it is minus sign so here there was a plus sign 1 plus lambda vds it was here it is 1 minus lambda vds right and the condition for saturation is this another difference is there in the case of uh, equation of vt here you see there was a plus here there is a minus here right so there is a minus here it was plus here. and another sign change is minus here and plus here so it is 5 plus vbs here it was 5 minus vbs so the sign change here 
sign sign change here sign change here sign change here so the the, the circles which i am uh, putting here that circle indicate that uh, there is a sign change if we compare it with n mos and another change here is in the condition the polarity of the voltage so otherwise you see whatever model uh, you have developed for n mos exactly same model except that uh, sign change occurs at few locations not at every location only at few locations so i think now you understand mosfet dc model so this is for today if you have any question any doubt regarding this dc model you can discuss with me